so here we are. Uh, hello, we are back in um, Super Mario World. And I just stopped talking for some reason. Um. Ah, damn it. Um, I was gonna hook up a Wii controller to this, and I just realized that I forgot it. So as you can see, I'm gonna be. Oh, ooh, I just killed Yoshi. As you can see, I'm gonna be terrible since I almost just died right there. And uh. I really need to add that, because that, that could be the reason for me doing terrible. Or it could just be because I'm terrible, then that's probably it. That's definitely it. It's, it's just, whenever it, like, I'm nervous when I record or something. Oh my gosh. Is it like I'm nervous when I record or something? Because, like, I'm so bad in these damn videos. Like... I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, am I this bad whenever I rewatch them? No. This makes me wonder. Alright, okay, here we go. God, this is so catchy. Um. Anything in Mario news? Oh, yeah, I think it's that new Super. Luigi U, that's, that, that, that was announced. That's cool that Nintendo's doing, D oh my gosh. And I didn't even get the cape, ah, who cares. That's cool that, um, uh, Nintendo's... <sighs> that's cool that Nintendo's going, like, DLCs, and it's, it's really cool, because... It looks like it's adding a lot of stuff. I mean, like... It's... I think it was, uh... No! That's unfair! Damn track pads and the freaking, like... That's, that's not even fair! It's... That's why you need to be what, careful what buttons you pick on these. I don't know if you might pick something that actually it's a key to something on the computer, and then look what it does for you. But, uh, I know with, uh, the Luigi U stuff, it's like a completely new map. I don't even have Wii U, so I can't even get it. But it's like a completely new map with, you know, new levels, and it's focusing on, on Luigi, and they said 2013 is uh, the year of Luigi, so they're gonna have a lot of different titles with him, and... I'd like to see where Nintendo goes because they've made the greatest games of all time and they're not like really in the lead right now. They're kind of behind. Like, like um, with, with the Wii, they sold, they really sold some bucks. But, um, I'm just, uh, I'm sure about the Wii. I think it'll catch on. Like, I remember the Xbox. <sighs> This isn't gonna end well at all. Okay, alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, I can get past him. Just jump. Okay. Alright, here we are. Uh, I pause it and we're in the. Oh my gosh, you jerks. Right, we're in this. Um, I'm replaying the ghost house because I found a secret area that I forgot to do. And I memorized the order of this a while ago. Damn tongues. And, um, let's get some green shrooms. But, um, the other topic I was talking about was, um, Nintendo when they're like standings. Standings. The way I said that's creepy, man. Damn pervert. But, um, like, the Wii U, it's really cool. Like, it's kind of like combining portable and, like, consoles. Even though you can't, like, bring it, like, in your car, because that'd be kind of awesome to just, like, put in, like, Assassin's Creed in your car. That's pretty boss. Unless you get the Vita. The Vita's cool. I don't know Actually, the Vita's... I think the Vita's only, like, 50 bucks less than a Wii U, so... But the Wii U is... It's really cool, and there can be a lot of potential with that. The graphics are updated. Uh, they can get... You know, a lot of good games, and... Uh, the Nintendo series can go far, but uh, they really need to, you know, get back into it, I guess. We ain't got the stompy thing. But, uh, 
to the tile. Well, I think what I'm excited. I, I'm. The Wii U looks. The Wii U looks good. It's just that. It's one of those consoles that I can't say that I'd rather pick, say, over a PS4, you know? Like, it's one of those things that I'd like to have with one, but I, I wouldn't, like, pick over that for, like, my, you know, I guess, hardcore. I don't know, hardcore game, but I, I guess you kind of get what I'm saying. I don't know what I just did. I'm just gonna just get a shroom. That's an ass move. I wanted both the feathers in there. Man, it doesn't matter. Let's just go. Like, that, that's what I think of the Wii U. It's not something that I'd pick over the PS4, but something that I'd love to have on the side, because, like, a lot of, you know, gaming has to do with, you know, Sony and uh, Microsoft. Microsoft love it. Money love it, of course. But, uh, and, uh, both consoles look pretty good. The uh, PS... No, not PS4. Microsoft hasn't shown anything about the... So called 720, that's not even real. So, I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Is they just, is just gonna wait a year? Or are they just gonna, like, um. Just release it, like. Um, I don't know, maybe in a few months. I don't, just, I don't really know. A lot of games coming out. Uh, there's uh, Batman Arkham Origins, which looks good, but. I'm going to talk about it in my Arkham City playthrough because I don't think Mario Match is more of the Nintendo subject I was talking about. Let's excited for Nintendo. Um, about the Wii U, I think I would get a Wii U if one they make a Smash Bros. And if two, uh, there's been a super with a 3D series, I guess you could say, in Mario games, and it's a. Uh, you know, first started with Super 64, then there's Sunshine, and then there's Galaxy 1 and 2, and so, uh, people are saying, yeah, they're, they're gonna make it, um, uh, probably another 3 game on the Wii U, and I, I would probably get that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's catchy tunes, but, so, if they make those two, I think we'll get it. And there's also, you know, possibilities, so they're definitely gonna make a new Zelda game on the Wii U. So, I've just started, I just started getting into Zelda, and, uh, I was gonna do a series on it, I'm not gonna talk too much about it, cause I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm gonna play through a good amount of Zelda games, and, um, uh, what I did, I think, was, like, I got the Game Boy, like, Link to the Past really quick, and then I just, uh, go off, I meant to go to the left, when you go right, alright. And then I played like 10 hours of that, and then I like played like 15 hours of Ocarina, like, day after. So, um, I want to talk not too much about, like, Zelda and, like, say, like, Batman Arkham commentary. So I'm going to save that for those series and those individual videos. So I guess, back to other Nintendo stuff that isn't, you know, Zelda. No offense, so. Um, maybe Smash Bros. characters. You gotta have Mega Man, that's just a given. Like, they say Capcom characters are true turn, that guy's, he's, you know, he's Capcom. Oh my gosh, what if they had Ryu? That'd be amazingly, actually, that'd be really awesome to get to do, like, a Duke I think it was, Bandai Namco was working on it, that if, no, just, Yoshi, come back! I think it was Bandai Namco that was gonna work on Smash Bros, I heard. Or so I'm told. It might be false. And, uh, oh my gosh. Would you recall, uh, they made some Dragon Ball Z games. That'd be fun to just do, like, kind of haz around Smash Bros. The thing is, I'm not sure, it might be a bit too cheap. But I don't think you'd match Smash Bros. feel, Goku. Or just Dragon Ball Z characters in general. Hey, that'd be kind of cool, though, to have Street Fighter characters. Banjo, because, you know, Banjo and Kazooie would be cool ones, but Nintendo... Um, they don't own Rare anymore. Which is sad, which is basically once Rare got bought by Microsoft, that's when they like what shit. Um They made cameo elements of power. That was a decent game. I liked that a lot. But you know, they made all those great games like the Donkey Kong Countries, the Diddy Kong Racing, there's Donkey Kong 64. Don't forget uh Goldeneye. Yeah, Goldeneye. Uh I don't wanna forget anything. 
Ban yeah, of course, Bandit goes in Badger 2. Conquer's Badger 40, yeah, so they've done a lot of good games, and then, of course, you know, when Nintendo came, not Nintendo, when they got bought by Microsoft, I'm sorry, it's tired. Um, it's tired. It's late. It's not, it's tired. But, um, there's, you know, pretty sure that's, like, uh, what's, I think it's retro games. They made Donkey Kong Country Returns. And then, like, it'd be cool if Nintendo could maybe get back rights to Banjo Kazooie. And who knows, maybe we make retro games, make a Banjo Kazooie game or something like that. Or they could put Banjo Kazooie in Smash Bros. Because you just, you know. It's not Nintendo characters that they start. I've, I've recently been playing a lot of Melee. And uh, it's great. Uh, the, the, the reason overall Melee is just kind of fun with the Brawl Ball. Brawl is great. Brawl is really good. It has a good variety of characters and, you know, all that stuff. Awesome, they got Sonic. And, like, <laughs> Solid Snake. But it's. It's it's a really fun game, Brawl, but the reason I think Melee's better is because the like, technical things, even though I can't do those. It's like those like insane combos that like the pros do and like they're <laughs> they're in cheese. And like they took them out in Brawl and I'm like, what's the point of like I guess it's to make it more kid friendly? But the thing is, if you take out complicated moves to make it kid friendly, like even in Melee if those complicated moves are there you can just still do, you know, standard kid-friendly moves since you don't know the complicated moves, so it just seems kind of like... You didn't have to take those out. At this point, it's just kind of like... I guess kind of pissing off the pro players, and I th I'm pretty sure the pro players... Um... Do tournaments and melee and not brawl because there's more things that you can do in melee. Not, you know... I'm not saying, I mean... I don't mean like match with characters, I mean just like fighting wise. It's a lot more technical and advanced melee. But I personally think melee is the best. The first one's pretty fun. But it wasn't. They really made like melee the sequel legendary. GameCube is pretty good. I actually. I didn't have that much GameCube games. I am going to play some though. I'm trying to play Sunshine. I think maybe record melee. Uh, maybe I I'm gonna do Wind Waker. I should also. I'm gonna record those weird games I talked about. I don't know if I'm gonna record every one of them, but definitely the Banjo Kazooie games. And, um. Whatchamacall? Shh. I'm forgetting this. Donkey Kong Country, of course. I'm gonna play all those. And then, um. I'll do Super Mario 64. That's a given. It's one of my favorite. That is. This, that Super Mario World and Assassin's Creed are my favorite games of all time, and the Batman Arkham games, I guess. Yeah, because I, I, I read comics and I, Okay, it's time to do Sebastian. I, I really love Batman. Batman's really good. He's not just like those cheesy, like Robin Adam West style. It's more serious and deep, but not as kitty as comics come out. I think video games and comics are very underappreciated. The thought of like. You know, not like deep stories and parts of our life that we can relate to, and people like lots of the video games. So, non video game players, and like, say, when we try to say, like, this, see this game or comic is like an emotional and it like means something in our lives, they're like, like, bitch, you crazy. <laughs> so, they're, they're two very underappreciated genres, I guess. Why did I pause? And pause, please, thank you. I guess. But. I think I've said in a bad Markham video that uh, video games kill comics because, you know, back then when there wasn't really any games, it's been like, I mean, in like 50s and like 60s and stuff, like you could like read like comics about these totally like, you know, cool characters or you could just like, um, which one is that? You could, I don't know, like checkers, that doesn't matter. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm just saying, like, video games are so much more accessible, and there's more to do, and it's more interactive, so, like, you can read comics as much. Comics, you know, ever since the 80s and 90s, they started getting more, like, more adult and mature graphic. That's why I call graphic novels, I think, no, that's not right. This is a coincidence! Stop bouncing off of me to view and let me murder you. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Okay, alright. Jump Mario. Okay, alright. There's one. I think two more jumps. <sighs> I went too far. This guy is not too hard. But knowing me, I'm just gonna die. Jump. Okay. Just one hit, and then everything's good. Everything is just fantastic and perfect, and then we can just. Just stay still. Okay, everything's good, and then. Are you serious? I killed him! I... Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna get him this time. And now that I wasted four lives, I had to go through this thing for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna do it def. I can't, I can't speak straight. This. I'm too tired. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. Do that. And I'm like, bitch. Okay. Thank you! Now I can hear that pleasant music to cheer me up. See, now I'm smiling at all. This game's freaking brilliant. So even if it frustrates you and you just hear that nice music, you're like, I can't get mad at this. Okay, you gotta be quiet. Let's get some. Well, wasn't that phenomenal? Now we go into there. Uh, we finished World 2. I got through this. Uh, I want to do the secrets in here. I, I just kind of skipped them back. I don't want to go back. I just. But that's it for Super Mario World. See you guys, episode 5.